you seen that video on YouTube of, of these things operating, like in the cab? Uh -huh. They're not 3450s, but 3460s. Uh -huh. I don't know if you've seen that video or not. No, I put a link I to it on our Facebook page. Trains Magazine actually put a link to it as well. Oh, cool. I'll check it out. Yeah, it's like a 10-minute well, video. It, it, yeah, if you can find the link... Uh, just go to our Facebook page. Yeah, just, uh, well, when, was, when did we post the link on our page? I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. Our page so, doesn't post too much, so it's pretty much still near the top. So, out of the park and restore it, as part of their plan to test a new biofuel that they're developing with the University of Minnesota to see if it could be adapted for use on steam locomotives. Well, when the legal when the legal issues came about in 2013, they decided to try it to try try it with another organization and start out on a smaller locomotive first before moving to a bigger locomotive. The tests actually went worked out well. They did, did the first round of tests with the. Uh, Milwaukee Zoo on their yeah. steam locomotive. Can you actually start on this one? I might need do that this one first. first. Yeah, I might need that one right now. Okay. I'll set, I'll set it down here on the chair. That, that round of tests went in. Now that the court has ruled in their favor, they're working with the city to find a, a place to build a permanent uh, home for it and put, put a roof over it to, to protect it. And if, the con and if it's in good enough condition, possibly restore it and make it into an excursion locomotive as the SBRHS did with the 3751. Yeah. Right. <sighs> Man, this thing really does a good job at scraping off the paint. Look at that! Like, you notice there was a lot of paint on the stretch earlier, and now it's almost... Yeah, that's pretty... ...bare dry, almost bone dry. Comes off pretty easily once you really get going at it. 